I did also want to shout out to the, to the empowerment committee that has been working for months to make today possible. Let's uh, let's have them stand. I'd like to name them all again. We want to recognize Pandora Williams, Zamora, Vinci, Boswin, Whitaker, Pat, Jesse Anderson. the year. I see Blaine and Skyler right there. We became one of the first cities in the country to create a task force to study reparations for the effects of chattel slavery and Burlington's role, any Burlington historic role Burlington as a city had in it. We're going to continue to build on this REIB success in the department's second full year. The budget that I submitted to the city council last Saturday included over one and a half million dollars of new money to expand the REIB department from three to eight people, to, to give every Burlington employee anti-racism training, to create an official economic opportunity office within REIB, and much more, including, of course, the funding of another great Juneteenth celebration in 2022 to ensure that this event becomes a valued Burlington generation, uh, tradition for generations to come. There's, there's one initiative over the next year that I'm particularly excited about and personally committed to, and I wanted to say a little bit more about that. It is expanding black home ownership here in Burlington. Before serving as mayor, what I did was build affordable housing. I, I spent 15 years working up and down the East Coast on affordable housing projects, starting my first volunteer job after college was to be in America's Georgia, down south, there, remember? And uh, we uh, there wielded a, a hammer and a paintbrush and organized other volunteers for Habitat for Humanity. And I will never forget the day, it was, a, it was a beautiful day like this, when we finished that first house that I worked on and handed over the keys to an elderly couple that had played by the rules their whole life, but fallen on hard times. And the, the joy for that family and really for the whole community that day uh, cemented in me an understanding that owning a home can be a critical foundation for supporting a family, establishing wealth, and a sense of belonging in American communities. And yet until the late 20th century, this is an opportunity that black Americans were barred from across the country as a result of explicitly racist federal housing policy and too often, very often, local local zoning rules as well. As a result, to this day, we see enormous racial disparities in home ownership rates nationwide, and that includes the city of Burlington. It is long past time for us to address this injustice head on, and I'm excited to announce today that on August 17th and 18th, I hope you all come back and be part of a 
mayoral housing summit here in City Hall that is going to focus on closing the gross disparity in black home ownership rates here in Burlington. And I know, you know, when you say a summit, that sounds like a politician thing, but I just want to be clear, and Mark, Mark has pushed me on this. When we, have, we had a housing summit a couple years ago, came out of it with five major reforms. Four of them have now been passed. One of them is gonna to go to the council and be passed this, this month. Uh, I will do everything I can to ensure that this year's summit leads to that kind of immediate policy change and then an expansion of black home ownership and housing affordability here in Burlington in the years soon to come. And I hope you be back with you at a future Juneteenth to celebrate that too. Thank you again for being part of this historic event Generations to come will look back on this, will note that Burlington started this tradition in 2021, and I believe they will know that this is the time that Vermont and Burlington, and really, the let's hope, the whole country got serious about racial justice and racial equity, and that progress followed. Thank you all for being part of this, and happy Juneteenth.